Hello and welcome back to Ganesh Institute and welcome to this series of English Literature Class 12th. In this video, we are going to talk about the poetry, A Thing of Beauty. So let's begin with the description. So the foremost thing which you have in your mind when you are reading a poem is about the poet, right? So the poet of this poetry is John Keats. What is this poem talking about? It is talking about all those beautiful things out of which we derive joy. So, poet says that beauty is a joy forever. And poet also says that God has given us that power, that supreme power has given us numberless things, many things which are beautiful. And what these things do to us is like they make us forget about the sufferings, the sorrow, the problems in our life. Okay? And it is beauty alone that takes away all the gloom from the human heart. This is what po poet says. Poet says that what is the relationship? I mean, what's that band which is binding us with these beautiful things? We are attracted towards these beautiful things. Why? Because it is a kind of a flowery band that binds us on the earth. This is the band in between us and nature. Poet has listed down so many beautiful things. So many beautiful things, right? These include the sun, the moon, the trees all big and small trees, daffodils and musk roses. Poet says, you know, when we used to hear about some of the childhood stories, we derive joy from them. Even in today's era, even in present, if we remember about those memories, we derive joy, right? Similarly, poet tells that this, these beautiful things gives us, give us joy. These are like an endless fountain on us, which is giving us an immortal drink. That heaven itself is pouring down to us and for us. The poet believes that, the poet believes that beauty comes from the brink of heaven. So you have to remember this from heaven. And then poet has, this is a significance that we forget sufferings and gloom when we see beautiful things, when we are surrounded by beautiful things. So we have the message from the poet that things of beauty have a lasting impression. We remember those beautiful memories which we see, which we have gone through, they have the lasting impression on human mind because beauty is eternal and everlasting. According to poet, the beauty is truth and truth is beauty. I'm hoping that you are we are on the same page in fact, right? So let's begin. It's homework time. What you are supposed to do after going through this video, you have to read the poem thoroughly. Then try to solve textual questions and then go through previous year questions based on this poetry. And even after then, you face any doubt, you have any doubt, then please do comment in the comment box bombard your questions over there and then don't forget to like share and subscribe Ganesh Institute stay tuned with us for these videos thank you